Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Right now, I'm actually headed into work, like literally like, right now, I'm walking to work right now. Um, but I'm actually gonna get my nails done first before I clock in because these are hideous. So, I'm gonna get my nails done and then, you know, I'll take you along the night. So, let's go. So this is a little setup right now. You know, they're looking rough. So, it's gonna be the transformation. And you are located in Dallas. You're a traveling nail tech, right? Yes. Okay, cool, because these are traveling nails that need work. These are terrible. <laughs> Y'all, I've been wearing press-on nails for the longest time. I'm actually excited. I'm like on your way, I'm sorry, my bad. You're good. This is cute, okay, 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 halfway done, kinda. And done. Ooh, they're so cute. Now I have to get to work, but at least my nails are done beforehand, right? These are actually so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. No, I'm so obsessed. They look really good. Okay, so I just got my nails done. I now I have to get ready for work. I feel like I love that I can like come to work and get my nails done because honestly, they look really good. Because before, they were looking really rough. So I'm excited about it, but I also have to do my hair. So I'm like, this kind of sucks. I know, right? Sometimes I just want to throw my hair up in a bun and be like, Forget it, I'm going on stage like this. Uh -huh. This is what you get. If you love me, you love me. I mean, some girls can pull that off when they go on stage, but I feel like not I. So the house mom used to be a dancer. Did you ever go on stage with uh, your hair in a bun? I never did, because I just feel insecure about it. I'm like, I feel like my hair has to be done. I don't think I ever went on stage with my hair in a bun because it made my face look See, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, for me, I felt like it never looked good. So I I never went on stage with my hair in a ponytail or a bun because I'm like, I felt like I had to be done up. Yeah. But some girls can do it and they look cute. But I'm like, me, okay. I'm like, at this point, I'm, in, I'm like almost exhausted. I'm like, wait, okay, but I'm still going to do my hair because yeah, I can't. Yeah, because when you it, <laughs> the only thing that'll save you is a little bit of hair straightening or curling. Yeah. And curling, honestly, curling my hair doesn't take as long as, like, straightening it does. Really? Yeah, because it's just kind of like, eh, just a little bit and you're done. Oh, no, for me, it has, it's the straightening. That's the fastest one. For me. I guess because, like, if I if I try to curl it where it's, like, perfection curl, maybe it would take longer. But me, I'm like, a little curl. Like the natural looking curl. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's a little curl and I'm done. But I'm, like, in love with my nails because I'm like, oh, yes, a hairbrush. Good. My nails are the hairbrush. <laughs> So I got my nails done by Nails by Dolly on Instagram. So I'll tag everything down below, of course. But is this like the regular price that you would normally charge? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I paid sixty dollars. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Sixty-five dollars for acrylic. This is actually really good. That's a really good price, honestly. And the fact that it's like at work. I mean, maybe like if you don't work here, I'm sure you could probably still get your nails done. But either way, it's so convenient for me. Or not, because I mean, I'll still tag her down below. It, you know, you're a traveling nail tech, I right? Travel. Yeah, you're a travel nail tech. She brought her own little table and everything. Super convenient for I. I don't know if you guys remember, but like a few months ago, I was like trying to meet up with a nail tech, but it just like never happened. So I'm just like so excited that I can like just come to work, get my nails done, and also have a drink. It looks like water. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your drink? Am I the only drinking it? Oh man. <laughs> I know, right? After after all that, we're like, we're exhausted. This time is gonna be for me to relax. I know, right? Oh, and you also do makeup too, right? Yes. That is convenient. I love a one-stop shop. <laughs> Get my hair and nails. Oh wait, no, 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 I make up with my nails done. See what I mean? I do like three big curls and I just feel like it. It does. Well, perhaps. well, maybe perhaps I'm not doing it the best right now. But it, it's going to work. It's, yeah, it's going to pass. It's going to work. <laughs> it will be fine. Perfect. So have you worked at any other strip clubs before? Uh, the men's club. Oh, were you a makeup artist there? No, I was a cocktail waitress. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, I think you were telling me that. Honestly, I don't know any other strip club where you can go and get your nose done at. You know what? I've never seen that before. Right? Yeah. I might be onto something. <laughs> yeah, you might be onto something. <laughs> Lucky, have you ever been to a strip club that you could get your nose done at? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Like, I don't... Not in my years. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That is a little bit convenient. I mean, I feel like if I were to get it waxed and then go on stage, it'd be like hella noticeable. But at least it's an option, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you can back or like voice Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, of course, it depends on what type of club you work at, too. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> but hey, it's waxed. It's done. It's polished. It's polished. Honestly, I've never had anything i've never had a bikini wax none of that that just like scares me i'm scared too i'm scared to get a brazilian wax i okay i used to get my eyebrows That's waxed wax? i used to get my eyebrows waxed and the i hated it well brazilian bikini like not anything i'm like don't i don't no. wax anything but my eyebrows i used to do my eyebrows like, even that i hated it so i'm like I would I do a Brazilian wax because I'm scared of the wax going into my butthole. <gasps> what would you do at that scared point? Of yeah, I just want, I just, the pulling. It's, that area? Yeah, the pulling. If you guys got in a, a Brazilian or a bikini wax, let us know. Okay. However, it's not my thing. <laughs> I, I just cannot. I cannot. Okay. Just the thought of it freaks me out. I don't care if it hurts or if it doesn't. Just the thought of it freaks me out. Because, like, when I used to get my eyebrows waxed, that shit hurt. And I don't know what it is about my forehead or whatever, but, like, every time I would get them, like, waxed or threaded, I would have to sneeze. Every time they would pull it, I would sneeze immediately afterwards. Yeah. So, imagine down there. Am I going to so pee or what? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Something's not adding up and I just don't like it. Oh. <laughs> you forget what I'm saying? There's only one. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. And the rest are going to be like, that's never happened before. That's new. Well, because every time I would get my eyebrows waxed or threaded and I would sneeze, they were just like acting like, they were acting brand new as if it never happened before. And I'm like, why am I the only one? <laughs> what is the no, just tell what is the logistics? Nah, they just like to be judgmental. First of all, I be getting my eyebrows waxed and they're like, you your lip saying? too? No. Uh, first of all, what I'm offended. First of all, saying? first of all, I'm offended. Because why would you ask that? So no, <laughs> no. I'm pissed. Every time, every time it happens. And I'm thinking like, what do you? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm thinking. I thought, that, I thought it's gone. What? Like, I'm thinking, like, what do you mean, my lip too? Like, if I don't ask for that. Honey, I, I help you get boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Wax your lip. My friend told me that she went to go get her like lip injections, and they were trying to like, oh, well, you should do this, you should do that, and I'm like, okay, I don't like that. If I said I want this, and you're trying to add on, like. We're, I get it if you're trying to make a sale, but you're messing with my face, literally. Yeah, at least wait till the question has been asked. If I bring it up, then yeah, great. But if you're just like adding on and you're suggesting that I need this done, it's actually kind of rude. Yeah. If I, didn't, if I did not ask for your unsolicited advice, don't, give don't ask me if I should wax my mustache or if I should do this and this and that to my face. <laughs> like at what point in time did I say that? Never. Never. <gasps> Yay! I love a decal. You know, like now she's all done up and I'm just. You know what? Your decoy? What? I am girl. Do you want to get on my video? No, not right now. Look at a fat ass. Well, you were in my last video and I was like, you were the hottest house mom I've ever seen. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to get one of those little like exercise machines, but like the small ones you can go under the desk. Oh yeah, like the <laughs> the pedals. Yeah, people were like, how small is she? Is she old? I was like, nope, she's the youngest house mom I ever met. You're the youngest and the hottest <laughs> house mom I've ever met in my life. You're like, the house mom's an undercover hoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she might clock in. Yeah. Worst come to worst, she might clock in. <laughs> Look, my dumbass, if I lose weight, they'll probably, uh, one day I might get on stage, I'll be like, 
mom on stage. <laughs> <laughs> house mom on stage calling now. House mom on stage. You could literally go now. And they would. Then my ass would get up there, probably drop down to the splits and be like, somebody <laughs> come and help me. You did say it. Help me up. And they're, they're short. Yes, if they're short staffed, I'll take my big ass on stage. That sexy thing. I know. I'm like, oh, the, your decoy. I was like, I'm right here. <laughs> she has a twin, a practical twin, almost, and her name's Cat. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my hair and I'll be back. But can we just like talk about my nails? Wait, right, can you can you see it? Can, okay, cool. I'll be back. Okay, I have not worn this dress in years, and I'm like impressed. I'm like, wait a damn minute. Why have not? Why have I not worn this dress in years? This is actually really cute. I'm gonna walk around and show you. Okay. This is literally soft opening dress, but shorter, and it's so cute. I got this years ago, and I wore it once, and I didn't like it, so I don't know what convinced me tonight to wear it, but it looks good. I'm happy with it. Especially with the nails. It's like, it's like suiting. Okay, all I heard is happy endings. Hi, you are the decoy. I'm Kat too. You look so, oh my God. Y'all are like almost related. She's hotter than me. I know, right? Okay, I'm gonna go out in the floor and I'll let you guys know how the night goes, I guess, or something, I don't know. I need to go, I need to get to work. But this looks good. Okay, honestly, walking in here, it smells fucking good because it smells like a nail tech, nail salon. That's what I like. That's what I like. And for the rest of the month, I'm gonna talk like this, and that's that. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm lit. This is a cute dress. Bye.